carefree. You feel like you're floating. When God's got this and you really give it to the Lord, if you really lay everything on the altar, you feel like you're floating. You feel the weight lifting off your shoulders because you know God's got this. Don't lay it on the altar and take it back. Once you lay it on the altar, let go. Let go and let God have it. Let go and trust the Lord. We got to learn to do that. We got to learn to lay things on the altar. Let go and trust God. To let him carry you through the storm. Carry you over the storm. Or be strong in the midst of the storm. However it is, he's with us every step of the way. However we deal with the storm, he's with us every step of the way. And like I always say, sometimes we have to let the Lord carry us. Sometimes when we feel too weak in a situation, let God carry you through the storm. And what the dance is all about, just let God carry you. Oh, carry me, Lord. Carry me, Lord. As we come together around the world, Lord, where two or more are gathered in your name, you are in the midst, Lord. And together we say, thank you, Jesus, right now. Thank you, Jesus, for all the ways you move in our life. Thank you, Jesus, 
for all the times you protected us when we didn't even know we were in danger. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, because you've been so good. You've been so good, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. So good. I'm going to give you the music. Just bask in his presence. If God's been good to you, just bask in the thought of what he's done for you. Jesus, you're so good. Let's name the song. Jesus, so good to me. Come on, family.
peace right now you've been so good to me Lord so good to me thank you Jesus amen Reverend Lisa and Reverend Sister Lisa welcome welcome from most high welcome Sister Lisa thank you Lord we just say thank you Lord for your grace and your mercy thank you Lord just open your heart right now just open your heart have your way Lord he's right here the presence of the Lord is here Open your heart right now. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us in what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in every way. And right now we humbly bow, Lord, in your presence. We humbly bow and say, use me, Lord. Use me as you see fit for the kingdom, Lord. Create in me, Lord, create in me a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything there's not like you. Thank you, Jesus. And right now, Lord, we lay everything on the altar. Lord, we lay everything on the altar right now. Every worry, every stress, every anxiety, every struggle, every infirmity, every fear, everything, lay everything on the altar that is not like God. And once you lay it on the altar, what do you do? Let go. Lay it on the altar and let that thing go right now. Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the great physician, the strong tower in each of our lives, whose hand we never let go, we never ever let go of your unchanging hand. You're the same yesterday today forevermore you are the air we breathe as a deer panted for the water so our soul longs after you Lord every single day we inhale the breath of life Exhale the word of God. With God, all things are possible. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. Those who wait on the Lord gain strength. We say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for your promises. Thank you for never leaving us, Lord. Thank you for your peace beyond understanding. Thank you for your anointing that destroys every yoke. Thank you for your presence. 
as we do our best, Lord, to live by your word every day, Lord, living by the word. Thank you, Jesus. Living by the word. Hallelujah.
like fresh air on a hot day. His anointing is so peaceful. The perfect peace that comes with keeping your mind stayed on him. The perfect peace that can only be experienced when you're in the presence of the Lord. Have no fear. Stand still. Be still and know that I am God. Come to me, all you labor and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. So you see, when you rest in the Lord, you'll be obedient to the word. The word says, stand still. The word says, rest. So every time you stand still and rest in the Lord, you are being obedient to the word. His presence is everywhere. His presence is always waiting for us to stand still. It's available everywhere. And we can go to it any time of day, anywhere, and stay as long as we have to. To feel rejuvenated. Re energized to receive a fresh anointing that's all in the presence of the Lord that's all in the presence of the Lord thank you Jesus because in that presence we know that God is real the name of the song divine sunset God is real. And the only way we're all here right now is because God has been so real to each one of us here. Amen.
peace be still. Peace be still. The word says, be anxious for nothing, but let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. And that's why it's so important to give everything to the Lord in prayer. Everything, not some. Whenever we get to give it to the Lord Thursday or Saturday, make sure you're giving everything to the Lord. Don't hold back. Give every single care to the Lord. Let it go and then trust. Those are the steps. Lay everything on the altar. Let it go. And trust. Like the word says, trust the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Thank you, Jesus. Because when you do that, you get to know him more and more, like the song says. Every time you let go, you get to know him more and more. More peace. More joy. More anointing. More of God's presence. More and more. And more.
more and more. The Holy Spirit just told me someone's going through something very heavy right now. You don't have to say what it is. The Holy Spirit told me that someone needs to just say four words. You're going through all this stuff in your life right now. Heaviness, worry, fear, anxiety, stress. And the four words you need to say right now is I need you, Jesus. Say it. I need you, Jesus. Because as soon as you say it, his presence is all over you. His comfort, his peace. As soon as you say, I need you, Jesus. He's right there with you. To bring you through the storm. He's right there with you. To give you everything you need to survive. I need you, Jesus. It's just you and me, Lord. Like the song says, it's just you and me and nobody else. Only you can give me the answers I seek, the peace I'm trying to find. Just you and me, Lord. Just you and me.
Yes, Lord. Just tell him yes right now. Yes, Lord. Rest. Peace be still. you right now. I need your touch. I need a breakthrough. I need healing. I need you, Jesus. Jesus, power in the blood of Jesus. That's who we are in Christ. That's who we are in Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence right now. As we come together in fellowship, Lord, to bask in your presence together. To rest in you together. Where two or more are gathered in your name, you are in the midst. Peace be still. Peace. Be still. Thank you. Thank you. Chains are falling right now. Chains are falling right now in Jesus' name. Breakthrough is happening right now in Jesus' name. Deliverance is happening right now in Jesus' name. Soul ties being broken right now in Jesus' name. Family curses being broken right now. In Jesus' name. Supernatural healing is taking place right now. Receive it. Receive it. When you pray, Believe you have received it and you shall have it. See your healing right now. See it. See your breakthrough right now. See it. Whatever you're praying for right now, see it. It's already done. It's already done in the spirit. It's already done. And now we wait on the Lord because God's timing is always the right timing.
and now just thank him right now. That thing you're praying for right now, thank him right now, it's already done. Thank you, Jesus, for answering the prayers right now, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for supernatural healing that's taking place right now. Thank you, Jesus, for touching every fellowship member right now in whatever area they need right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Jehovah M. Kedish, our sanctifier. Jehovah Nisi, our victory, our banner. Jehovah Shalom, our peace. Jehovah Tisitkanu, our righteousness. Jehovah Rohai, our shepherd. Jehovah Shama, our helper. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now we go in intercessory prayer. Now that we're rejuvenated and re-energized and refilled with the Holy Spirit, we now pray for each other. You've been praying by yourself, and now you wish for the fellowship to pray in agreement with your prayer. Please put your request on the screen right now. For those who are working or driving and you cannot type. Just speak your prayer request. God hears every prayer. And right now, we as a fellowship are standing in agreement with every prayer right now, live or archive, on the screen or off the screen. Please do this now.
thank you right now, Lord. We thank you right now for moving mightily over all of these prayer requests, Lord. Where two or more are gathered in your name, you are in the midst, Lord. And right now, we as a fellowship stand in agreement with all these prayer requests and decree and declare all of these prayer requests shall come to pass. The fervent prayers of the righteous avails much. Hear our prayer, O Lord. And Father God, as we continue to come together as a fellowship, six days a week, Lord, we pray together, Lord, for supernatural healing, especially during the pandemic, Lord. We pray for peace, for justice, for change, we pray, Lord, for you to continue to wave your mighty hand over the spirits of rebellion, division, and racism. To continue to uproot the grip of racism, not only in our nation, but in the world. As we commit to humble ourselves, pray, seek your face, turn from our wicked ways. You are here from heaven. Forgive our sins and heal our land. All these things we ask, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, Jesus, for another beautiful day together, Lord. Another beautiful day of jazz, praise, and worship, and then laying everything on the altar to give everything to the Lord. I'll give it to Lord Thursday. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day of worldwide fellowship. Come together around the world in praise and worship and fellowship. Brothers and sisters in Christ, come together the way it should be around the world to love you together, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As always, before we close, I always know someone's watching or listening who doesn't understand why we praise and worship and love the Lord and come together around the world. Someone's watching right now who doesn't understand why we do what we do on this channel. So right now I'm going into the prayer of salvation and the closing prayers. As always, please no typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the closing prayers is deleted out of respect of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now, I'm talking to the person listening or watching. You've been here the whole time. You heard the jazz praise and the worship and the fellowship and the prayers. But right now, you're not connected because right now, your life is falling apart. Worry fear, stress, anxiety is all over you. Family is turning away from you. Friends stabbing you in the back. And you, it, you may even feel suicidal right now. Yet somehow you find yourself on this channel, have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. You're not here by accident. God brought you here because he sees what you're going through right now physically or spiritually or emotionally that's why you're here you may be here as a backslider in guilt for whatever reason you chose to leave god and go back to a life of sin and now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world and now the devil's telling you once you leave god or fail god you can never go back and that is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said the prayer of salvation and you fell back into a life of sin, there's nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life to Christ. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So whether you're walking in depression, fear, worry, 
overwhelmed, hopelessness, or you're walking as a backslider, you want to come back to the Lord. I want you to pray with me right now. Pray with me. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I want Jesus to be Lord and Savior of my life. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without living up to you first. Create in me, O Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you. In Jesus' name. And if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is not right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us, that teaches us, that guide us, and also convict us when we're not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you exactly what you need to do to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit, starve your flesh. Feed your faith, starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you'll feel in your life, which is God letting you know it's gonna be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spirits of retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, named or unnamed, seen or unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. We cast all you demonic spirits out of our mind, out of our spirit, out of our home, out of our kids, out of our marriages back to the pit of hell from which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy, loose peace beyond understanding, loose restoration, Lord, restore every area of our life, loose reconciliation, Lord, bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep your hands of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes, we are healed. And every day, Lord, every day, we confess it, I believe. I receive my healing in Jesus' name. I believe I receive my healing every day. Thank him and confess it. Thank him and confess it. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose supernatural, supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough. Supernatural debt cancellation. Lord, let your blessings, Lord. Let your blessings of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on the fellowship air financial need, whatever it is, for you to supply all our need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want anything when the Lord is my shepherd. For we're the head, not the tail. We're above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the borrower. We're blessed going in and blessed going out. We're blessed that we may be a blessing to others. We are out of debt. All of our needs are met. We have plenty more to put in store. We are children of God, and nothing shall by any means hurt us or block our blessings in any way. And finally, Lord, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know, Lord, now we know every day, take time every day to see it Visualize your miracle every day. See it, believe it, and receive it in your heart. And as you receive it in your heart, 
expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up could be the day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you, keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to everyone you touch or speak to, a blessing to everyone you pass by, a blessing to everyone you pass by and bless without opening your mouth because the love and light of the Lord is all over you 24 7, 365, including leap year. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the fellowship say, Amen. Amen. Amen.